This video is sponsored by Dice. Do you ever wonder how much developers actually make? Because you see on Google, it says that engineers can make 100,000, 200,000, $300,000 a year. But have you ever wondered how much about it is actually true and if it's actually worth it? And what does it even take to get there? Let's talk about that in this video. So for those who don't know me, my name is Krishan. I'm a self-taught developer, never went to college, never went to coding bootcamp, and I have been in tech for over seven years. My first salary in tech was $45,000 a year, and I eventually went up to the $250,000 mark. So I can personally say from my experience, I know how hard it is and what it takes to actually move up the ladder and move up that pay scale in tech. And I wanna help y'all get there too. When it comes to this topic of developer salaries, people are so pulled by how much developers can make in tech. People are so pulled by how amazing our lifestyles could be, right? And quite frank, because we tend to ha have nicer things. And what I mean, we, you just see what we post on Instagram or social media. And it's nice. It's nice being able to go to a restaurant and not even care what, and not even look at the menu, right? I mean, it, it's nice being able to go to a store and be able to buy whatever you want. But I think people need to understand that not everyone will make six figures. But there's also a reason why not everyone makes six figures, and there's also a reason why people do make it. So let's look at a list of salaries really quick from the Stack Overflow survey from 2023. And on this list, we'll look at the base of salaries of, of those in the United States. And in the United States, you see that, wow, everyone makes six figures in tech we see on this list that engineers people who work in tech in general tend to make a good amount of money this is a lot but even though on this 2023 survey i say this is still not the case and almost every salary listed on here are people who have years of experience this isn't going to happen to everyone right off the bat i only know one person made 110k a year after his second year in tech everyone else you know and this is coming from self-taught developers who didn't go to coding bootcamp everyone i know made less than six figures their first job in tech which is totally fine but yes this does not mean that you will automatically make six figures at your first job that's just not normal it's not expected right speaking of tech careers i want to give a big thanks to dice for sponsoring this video if you're navigating the tech job market dice is a fantastic resource they not only have a vast array of job listings, but also provide tailored advice for developers like you and me. Whether you're just starting out or looking to advance your career in tech, DICE offers valuable insights on optimizing your resume and preparing for interviews. Now, what really sets DICE apart is a focus on the tech industry. They understand the unique challenges and opportunities in this field, and their platform is designed to help you navigate them. With DICE, you can get insights into salary trends, which is exactly what we're talking about right now. And it's not just about finding a job, it's about finding the right job that matches your skills and career goals. DICE makes this process smoother and more efficient. So make sure to check out DICE in the links in the description below. Now that I mentioned that, who will actually be able to make these salaries? I'm gonna tell y'all how I did it. So I, at my first tech job, they're paying me 45K a year. The only pay increase they would give me was a $15,000 increase. And that's only after I received another job offer. I left that company, made 70K. I was at that company for two years, laid off, right, at that job. But then when I moved to another company, that's when my base salary jumped from making $70,000 a year to $160,000 a year base. Total compensation 183, then it went up to 190, right? But what I'm trying to say is job hopping. <laughs> job hopping is literally the fastest way to increase your salary. I know people who have worked at the same job, had the same role for over six years and still make the same salary. Yo, everyone, what $100,000 a year was 10 years ago is now to, to, to make to, to retain that same value of that $100,000, you need to make $140,000 a year today. If you're making $50,000 five years ago and you don't get a pay increase after five years, that $50,000 is probably valued at $40,000 today, right? So you don't want to save the same salary, but then some people settle and don't do that. The people who I, I feel like the people... And from my experience, the things I've seen, the people who remain the same pay, the entire career, the people who don't strive to make more. And I understand I'm content with what I have. That's fine. But guess what? Inflation doesn't care about you. Guess what? When the economy crashes, doesn't care about you. 10% inflation does not care about you. You have to care about you. Contentfulness is important. I agree. Very important. But I think it's very important that we all strive to grow and get better. But that involves taking risk and leaving a comfortable job you have. And not everyone can do that. That's what it takes. Now that we talked about developer salaries and what it takes to actually get there, the next question I wanna ask you is, is it really worth it? It is a hard industry. 
this job is one of the most difficult things you'd probably do in your life. But why? Why is that the case? Number one, like I said earlier, you don't just learn these first two years. You try to get your first tech job, right? I think it takes one or two years to realistically get a job in tech now. But you need to continuously learn these new technologies for the rest of your career. It's mandatory. It's like being in school for the rest of your life, like literally, right? Why? Because if you don't keep up with new technologies, if you don't continue to hone your skills and improve as a developer, you'll get laid off. Or when there are layoffs, you'll be one of the people who get laid off or you'll be replaced or you'll be put in pip or you get fired and get fired. To be honest, it's a tough industry. It's a very cutthroat industry. It's full of sharks. This industry is all about making money. And if you're not contributing to the company or adding additional value on top of what they hired you for a couple years down the line, you will be let go. This is extremely important because I know too many people this has happened to. I know too many people who work in tech who just stayed stagnant and lost their jobs. So is it worth it? Yes and no. It's a very stressful environment. Depending on the job, you might continuously wonder if you'll be laid off or fired the next week. There are people who go through that. I've gone through that, to be honest. It's tough. It's very stressful. And so this job isn't for anyone. It's not just about can anyone learn code? Anyone can learn code. But it's what about the pressures that come on top of that? What about being able to manage these work politics, which I hate so much? These politics of people you need to know how to talk to, the people you need to learn how to connect with so that you can get that promotion. And that's what often happens more often than not at these larger companies. And I think that's very important to note. And to job hopping. In tech, you don't just remain at one job. Everyone I know moves jobs every two to three years, no matter how much you're making. Unless, you know, and it's nothing wrong with staying in one job. If you really want to, that's fine. But to be able to move up that ladder or to get the pay you're looking for, it often means you need to move to another job. So then is it worth it for me? Yes. I think for a lot of people more often than not, it'll be yes. Why you saw the salaries. It's insane. Right? So, so these salaries are insane. $220,000 a year living in Vegas when I'm married. Yo, that's 14,500 bucks a month after taxes, after taxes. It's in, that's a lot of money to do what I do. That's insane. Not a lot of people can do that. Not a lot of people make that amount of money. So yes, I think it's very worth it if you're willing to go through what it takes to not just get a job in tech, but keep a job in tech. It's not easy, but damn, life is amazing. No regrets. Anyway, hope y'all like this video. I'll see y'all next one. Peace.